Hello and welcome to this uh, video review of our next concert coming up. It's the second one of 2019. I'm here in the uh, Hackney Empire with uh, Stephen Bell. He's working with the BBC Concert Orchestra later on today. Okay. And uh, anyway, a, a really, really romantic programme. It certainly is. Uh, and, a, and a highly charged, emotional romantic programme at that, really. Uh, particularly the two pieces in the first half. Uh, a, a brilliant pairing, uh, for which I can't take any credit, uh, but a brilliant <laughs> pairing nonetheless of uh, Wagner's wonderful Prelude Liebstor from, from Tristan, uh, a piece of music that actually has a life outside of the opera. In fact, I think it was, it was even premiered before the opera. Yeah, yeah, yeah 20 years before, yes. Um, and has at its opening that one of the most recognisable chord sequences, actually, that kind of open questioning, leaving us in to kind of something that perhaps we don't yet understand. Um, and the pairing of that with the, the wonderful four last songs of, of Richard Strauss, some of the last music he, he ever composed, um, all of which deals with the autumn of life, all of which deals with that slightly darker subject matter, but in such a beautiful way, uh, Strauss obviously writes fantastically well uh, for the voice. Um, but also his use of the orchestra in that shows uh, unbelievable mastery. I mean, we are talking about a... a um, 80-something-year-old, wasn't he, when he wrote, when yes, he wrote the four-hour yeah. songs. And, and what's always particularly poignant to me as a, as a former horn player is that although we're performing the four-hour songs in the sequence in which they are uh, mm -hmm. published, but the sequence in which they were composed is slightly different in that September was the last yes. thing that Strauss ever wrote, which has at its end the most beautiful horn solo, which mm -hmm. still makes the hairs on the back of my neck <laughs> stand up. It yeah. is just one of those most magical moments in all yeah. the music. Um, an extraordinary thing that Strauss actually never heard the first performance he died before the mm, premiere, mm. Uh, which was in London, wasn't it? In yes, Royal Albert Hall, yes. Um, so, it, a, a kind of hugely emotionally charged uh, um, concert, certainly in terms of the first half, but then kind of juxtaposing that after the interval uh, with the first symphony of Reinhold Glier. Glier, a wonderful composer, who perhaps for me doesn't get the recognition, recognition that perhaps he deserves. Um, and in this music, although it's music of a young man, he was uh, in his 20s when he wrote this. Um, not long um, graduated from the Moscow Conservatoire. And it, it does hark back, it has, it has kind of traditional roots, if you like. Um, you can hear certain elements of Borodin's uh, music, of mm -hmm. Rimsky Korsakov's music, uh, right back to Glinka, I guess, there's a kind of, as a young 24 year old or whatever it was, there were an enormous number of influences. But you still get little glimpses of what was to become his kind of voice. There are certain chord progressions, there are certain slightly more adventurous harmonies, mm -hmm. even in this. Um, relatively uh, early work that you come to recognise in some of his better known later compositions. Mm. But it's very forward looking, it's very kind of young, optimistic, outgoing mm. music, mm. brimming with brilliant melodies. Yeah. Uh, a rather quirky sort of uh, lopsided 5 4 scherzo, which yes. catches a few people out. But, but it, it, it's terrific fun and it's, it's got that kind of exuberance about it. Yeah. It's got a, yeah. a certain joie de vivre. It's going to be a highly charged emotional concert anyway, yes. for quite personal reasons to the to the Bright Philharmonic. Yes. Uh, as a as a celebration of the life of, of Melanie Hornsby, who sadly uh, passed away last year, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, hopefully a fitting tribute in that. Yes, there's a, a huge amount of emotion uh, involved in both the Wagner and the Strauss, but then a, a kind of forward-looking in a way and a yes. celebratory uh, element to the to, to, to yes. the second half of the Glee. So. Yes. Uh, I hope a really fitting tribute to, yes. to a lovely lady and a great fiddle player. Oh yes, and we'd also like to take this opportunity to uh, thank the Miller nurses who uh, were absolutely brilliant uh, and looking after her and her family at the end of her life. Steve, thank you very much indeed. Well, we are all looking forward hugely to this concert. Uh, I personally can't think of three better pieces I would like to hear on a Sunday afternoon, well, and uh, we're looking forward to it a lot. Many thanks indeed. Me too. Thanks very much. Ian.